While all eyes are currently on Hurricane Irma, people in Texas are still recovering from the massive storm that hit just last week, and some of those displaced by the storm are heading to Hampton Roads. Our Laura Queso is live in Norfolk, where some pets rescued from Hurricane Harvey will soon be arriving. And Laura, I know you're going to want to take some of those puppies home. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to try not to, but you know what, Katie and Don, they just arrived. Literally one minute ago, 63 dogs and cats arrived here at the PETA headquarters in Norfolk. And these are animals that were actually already in shelters in Louisiana and Texas. That's because they're making room at those shelters for those pets who were rescued in the floodwaters so that they are able to then reunite them, hopefully, fingers crossed, with their owners. Now, if Rob can come over here, I have Daniel Karen, the uh, outreach coordinator for PETA here. This is a big day. First of all, I say, you know, all those animals came in with a, arrived with an applause, but some of these volunteers actually rescued animals from the floodwaters too. Yes, we're super excited to welcome them back, uh, but they went down there. PETA sent a team down um, with a, also a couple of staffers from the Virginia Beach SPCA, and they were involved in the rescue of around 100 animals that then stay in the area in Texas. And then so before coming back, we went down to the local shelters and asked what we could do to help. And the biggest thing they needed help with was getting the animals out of there to make room for the new animals that have been displaced and could possibly be reunited with family. And you know what, we have to talk about Irma because Irma's on everyone's minds. When we think about Harvey, we saw so many really heartbreaking photos and video of animals in those floodwaters. What is a point that you want to get home to our viewers with these big storms and hurricanes? Yeah, Hampton Roads is no stranger to seeing hurricanes and flooding. So the biggest thing is to be prepared. And everyone can go to PETA.org and we have a list of things you can do to be prepared. Getting animals microchipped, having them on a leash, being prepared is the number one thing. Having a plan where you're going to go making sure that they'll accept animals and people can go to PETA.org and see that list. Um, they can also go to PETA.org and see all the videos of the rescue efforts that our team took place in. All right, Daniel, thank you so much. Congratulations. And so right now there are 10 vans here. These are local SPCAs who are ready to take some of these animals into the vans and then bring them to their shelters where then you will be able to adopt them out. Now coming up at four, we'll tell you where you can adopt these animals, when you can adopt these animals. And of course, we'll be looking at them, getting some video, telling more stories. And like you said, Katie, um, I'm really going to have to hold back from maybe adopting one out. But I'm sure there are many cats and dogs who are in need of forever homes. For now, I'm live in Norfolk. Laura Queso, 10 on your side.